Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. Hope you all had a wonderful day today. As you all know in North America, it is very cold and this is soup season. So today I'm going to be sharing a recipe for butternut squash soup and this is coming back by popular demand. I have a recipe on my channel before but because it's so delicious and so healthy i've been asked to make it back again and this here is super for the winter time and especially if you're fasting when you break your fast it's such a beautiful soup to have after and i know some people for first month of the year they stay away from meat and some things so this is also a great dish look how nice and beautiful and orange the inside is i'm gonna go ahead and scoop up the inside i'm gonna show you step by step how i prepare this beautiful hearty recipe so with a spoon i normally go in and take out this inside here and you can save the seeds they're very nice to snack on you can toast them up in the oven you can blend them up in some almond milk and add some honey in there and make a nice milkshake i'm gonna go ahead and remove this and then i'll take out the rest of the seed such a beautiful recipe to make and everybody would like it one of our subscribers try this and they keep making it all the time and i have a nice red bell pepper we're going to use this to add some flavor and some extra rich color to the soup i'm going to remove the seeds want to make sure that no seeds in there we don't we don't need seed in this soup I'm gonna roast all these up, the onions. The roasted onion would add a nice roasted flavor to the soup. And I have here garlic, I cut it in half. I'm only gonna use half of it. I'm gonna roast this up as well. And before we roast them, we wanna go in and brush them with some oil and I'm gonna brush mine with some coconut oil. I'm gonna start from the onions and this will develop a beautiful flavor on the ingredients. I'm gonna leave all the measurement and all the ingredients I'm using today in the description box below. We're gonna brush our butternut squash. Butternut squash is real, it's a real nice vegetable and I really like working with this squash. So I'm gonna go in and do the same with the bell peppers. Brush them nicely with the oil. And then I'm gonna go in with some fine thyme in the butternut squash. So we're putting these to roast in the squash, which will add a beautiful flavor to our soup. can put it all over but I'm gonna put it in the inside because then it will stay there and we don't have to worry about it falling off once you try this you will eat it over and over again so I think I have a good portion here and we're just gonna go in with some salt and black pepper Just so the squash is cooking with some flavor, we're gonna add some to our peppers as well. And I'm gonna go in with some pink salt here. We'll add this to a 350 degree oven until the squash is nice and soft and that we can scoop it up from the inside. 
the peppers onion and garlic will cook faster so i'll have to remove these before but once i'm finished roasting all these up i'll show you how to prepare the soup step by step so these are going into the oven now and i'll show you as they're finishing off one by one so I already have my roasted garlic and onions and they charred up nicely, which will give us a good flavor for the soup. And for the pepper, I'm just gonna remove the, the skin, like the outer layer. Cause if you don't, it's gonna be plasticky in the soup. And we don't want that. We wanna have a nice smooth soup when we're eating. So this pepper really char up, which will give us that beautiful roasted soup flavor so i'm gonna remove it from both sides and then i'll show you how we combine all this delicious goodness together so once the butternut squash is properly cooked you can just scoop it up like this look at that you can even eat it like this beautiful and nice and soft and easy to scoop up and we're gonna add our roasted peppers and our garlic and onion in there and this nice beautiful thyme flavor that it was roasting with oh boy this is gonna be a good one and Reza tried this soup from me and he made it many many times even for his guests and everybody just love this soup if you guys think it's my soup and and I might just hype it up like that check check out with Reza he had this soup and he can't stop talking about it. We're gonna add about two cups of water to blend everything to a nice smooth puree. We're gonna add the puree back to a pot. We're gonna warm this up back. Oh my gosh, look at the color. So beautiful and rich from that red bell pepper and you can see a little piece of the roasted garlic and onions this is on the thyme this is smelling so nicely i'm gonna go in with a pinch of salt because we want to flavor this up and make sure that they have flavor so remember all the measurement and ingredients will be listed in the description box below so we're gonna add some black pepper in there Matthew is going to be so happy. This is his favorite. And we're going to go in with a little bit of brown allspice powder. Allspice and butternut squash or pumpkin soup really goes nice together. Just a little pinch, about a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm going to go in with some oregano. Some dried Italian seasoning. And last but not least, some pepper flakes to add some heat. And we're going to give this a nice mix. And let all that beautiful ingredients combine. I like to treat this soup nice and cook it slowly until it's done. Because this is pure deliciousness in the spot here. So I'm going to mix and I'll taste to make sure that I have enough salt in there and it's nice and rich and thick. And if you like yours thinner, you can add more water. If you like yours thicker, you can add less water to puree. But it's overall a beautiful soup. It's a nice soup for this Valentine. So you can make your spouse a beautiful bowl of butternut squash soup and they will enjoy it. I'm just gonna taste a little bit to see if I have to add more salt in the palm of my hand. That's how I taste mine. Oh my God. Oh my God. If you make this for your spouse or your loved one, they will, if you're single, they'll marry you for sure. <laughs> Hobby's laughing. So just like that, the soup is done and I'm gonna be making some falafel to go with this soup because the soup is very light. You have to really drink a lot to fill you up. So the falafel is nice and heavy and it's made with split peas. So let me show you how I prepare it. I have a recipe for it on my channel, but it pairs very well with this 
soup and it's a vegetarian meal. So now we're gonna make our falafel and it is very, very easy to make. It is a Middle Eastern kind of snack and this is mostly used for a protein. You can substitute it for meat, any meat dish and you can add falafel. Falafel is usually made with chickpeas, but today I'm gonna do a split peas version. I soak my split peas for over eight hours. You can soak it overnight. I drain the water out. I chopped up one red onion and I have here about five to six cloves of garlic. Hubby is gonna use his omega juicer to grind all of this fine for me. I just wanna share that the omega juicer can also grind soaked split peas or soaked chana. So now that we have our split peas nicely grind and you want it to have a texture and I can see my onions and all that in there. We're gonna go in and flavor this up. So I'm gonna go in with some salt turmeric and some jeera or roasted cumin we're gonna go in here with some finely chopped cilantro which would add really nice flavor to our falafel you want to bite into pieces of the flat thick parsley and we're gonna go in here with some baking powder the baking powder is gonna work as a binding agent and help it to fry nicely and crispy so all the measurement will be listed in the description box below we're gonna nicely fold everything in when you're making this make sure that your grind dal or chana have a texture a food processor would also work well to do this process you don't want to have a smooth puree so you guys know my best tools are my hands so i'm gonna go in good i can feel that texture that i want you want to feel a nice grain when you're mixing all these ingredients and right away when i add the jeera or the cumin you can smell that beautiful aroma so that's how easy this is and what we're gonna do now i'm gonna make little disc or some little patties and then we'll start frying them and this is working as our protein for our dinner tonight so here are the nice little discs that i'm making and i'm just adding them into the oil and i'm gonna fry them until they're golden brown these are no flour i just add baking powder to give it a nice crunchy outer layer and to bind everything together so my split peas falafel is finished and it is ready to go with our butternut squash soup. So check out my beautiful butternut squash soup. Look at that beauty right there. Look at that. Pure goodness. Hearty goodness. So what I like to do when I'm serving mine, I like to go in with some pumpkin seed and top it off with some pumpkin seed right at the top like that. Look at that. So you can bite into those pumpkin seed and have something to just crunch on while you're eating. This is optional, but you can just add it if you have them and it'll just add a little bit of a texture to your soup. So here it is with my falafel, chickpeas falafel. And that's gonna be our beautiful dinner tonight. Happy, happy birthday greetings going out to Paul Manboat from your loving mom, Dato, Uncle Ishwar, your two loving sister, Mandy and Liana, your two brother-in-laws, aunties, uncles and cousins also from my family to you. We would like to wish you a happy, happy birthday with many, many more happy, blessed birthday to come. We wish you this year that all your dreams and hard desire will come true. Enjoy your special day. So 
here it is, our beautiful butternut squash soup drizzled with some pumpkin seed or butternut squash seed. And I have here my split peas falafel. Big shout out to Sister V and her husband, Rudy. Happy birthday to you both. Her hubby celebrated his birthday yesterday and she is celebrating today. What a beautiful birthdays to have. So we wish you both many, many more birthdays to come. Greetings are coming from Sister Shenna, Riza, and all the other YouTube family. Stay blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. So I'm going to dive in for my butternut squash soup. And I can't wait. Look how nice and thick and really, really delicious looking this is. To all the viewers and subscribers and Sister V and her husband, cheers. Mm. It is nice and warm on a winter night like this. It is the perfect hearty warm soup to have. Look how beautiful and thick this is. The flavor of the oregano, the oregano and the Italian seasoning along with those roasted garlic and onion. Absolutely delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I like to bite those pumpkin seed. When you take a mouthful, I can get a hint of that pe pepper flakes as well. And I'm gonna bite into my protein. My falafel, amazing protein to go with this. Crunchy on the outside and nice and soft on the inside and full with flavor. This was something that I inspired one of my viewers with. And today she did the same exact recipe and she shared it back with me as a success story. And it's and it just gave me a hint that you know what I can do a split peas version. I will be sharing her success story with you all very soon. <laughs> so good. You can have it as a snack, you can have it in a wrap, we can have it as a substitute for me, and you will enjoy it so much. So before I continue eat and go have you guys all drooling. I want to say, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, we hope you'll consider subscribing soon. Until then, we want to say stay blessed, stay safe. Love you guys. Bye for now.